Go. This is going to be a list of daring fragrances. Guys, hope you like today's intro. Rock and roll. Hey, listen. Just want you to know I'm about my business. I truly am. Hope you like today's out of bounds, a little bit daring, a little bit crazy fragrances. I love these fragrances. Smith, Queens in the building. Yo, we dancing in Queens, baby, today. LL Cool J in the building. What'd he say? Family, I'm just in one of those zones. Hearing LL. Got this going on. This is good. I like this, guys. Okay, family. I had some fun with the LL intro. Um... You know, today, I am bringing just 10 fragrances that I feel are bold, daring, and exciting. So, let's run these 10 down, do as fast as possible, and um, I want to keep up all your time, Man Cologne Channel. Okay, family, so, what we got here today is 10 fragrances. That are daring. You got from the house of Fragrance Du Bois, Velvet Amber. This has a gasoline note that is for real. The petroleum in here is crazy. Look at that juice, guys. Shit is nuts. Keep the cap off so I can just smell it. Whew. Oh, shit. This gas note is real. Ooh, guys. Hope you like it. Now, from the house of Pentaholigans, you got Sohan. So, Sohan is this sex in a bottle oh, shit oud uh saffron rose but the oud saffron rose here smells like you know like when you're in in an intense heat with a woman on the dance floor and you can feel her juices that's what sohan is let's go to the next one guys tom ford oud fleur if you can get this get this if you're daring and crazy but i have something in the list that's similar to this but not the same let's keep going oud fleur <sighs> shit this is off off the nozzle it, it smells so so like highly crafted with with the oud and the flowers but trust me this is an animalic oud but the flowers keep this at bay if you're looking for something like this tom ford oud fleur is a bomb now M Music ra Rabajor. <laughs> that came out kind of wrong. Sorry, guys. This fragrance is a gourmand, but with a backbone in the sense of like it's dirty, it's daring, it is very bold. But when it when it finally comes down, it's a gorgeous gourmand. But it's not for everybody. It's daring and it's bold, guys. So if you like daring, bold gourmands, Music Rabajor is the way to go. Let me just smell it. The chocolate in here is so good, man. <laughs> that praline, man. That chocolate note is no joke. So, from the house of DSG and, and Durga, you got Amber Kisco. Now, this is like a burning fire fragrance. The amber is just like lit on fire. Similar to Ombre Sultan from, so, from Serge Luton, but not the same. This is... um. This is different. They're both burning fires, but in my humble opinion, this is this is more daring. Um, this one right here, not that it's stronger or bolder, which it is stronger and it is bolder, in the sense of where Serge um, Serge Vuitton Amber Sultan is. It's very sexy on the dry down. This is a 
and a Malik Beast in the dry down. So in that aspect, they're both different. Now, from the House of Harari, you got something called Ami Favoir. I don't know, guys. I mean, I don't even know how they even pronounce this or even come up with these stinking names. But look, that's the name from the House of Harari. Now, I call this Badusi. <laughs> Shit. It smells like ass, dick, and pussy. And I say that nicely, guys. And it does. Straight up in the bedroom getting it on. But it's an excellent fragrance, guys. But it's a very daring fragrance. Now, this one, uh, Warwick, from the House of Kajal, it's a leather amber, and it feels like someone threw it on top of lava. It's very heated. It's very, very animalic, but not with a stinking oud. It's just a fire amber with leather. You have to like that type of concoction. This is not mass appealing. Uh, most, I, I'll get to the ones that aren't, aren't mass appealing. Um... Unique luxury. This is top five for life. Kute. I don't know if you can see that right. There you go. Kute from Unique Luxury. This is the old style battles. And this right here, guys. Man. <sighs> Shit. I'm going to be diving more into this house. It looks like I haven't really used it. It is so good, I don't want to use it. I use it on spare occasions because this thing is a nuclear bomb, first of all. And this has this is the most realistic whiskey you could ever smell in your life, guys. To me, hands down, best the the best liquor note in the game, Kute, from Unique Luxury. It's the best, guys. I'm not saying I smell every Killian or I smell. All, I'm just saying if you smell this, and I'm gonna be diving into this house more, guys. When you smell, if you ever smell this, you know what I'm talking about. Now, from the house of Bentley, Bentley Intense. This is a, I had to put this here. This is a cheapy, guys. It's like 35 bucks, 40 bucks, but it smells like it's probably 100 bucks, 150 bucks. And um, I got to buy another backup bottle of this because I already went through one bottle. And this is so good, guys. You get compliments. You would think that this thing, you know, didn't do, it would do anything for you. But, man, it's electric. It really is, guys. For 30, 45 bucks, bro, you cannot go wrong, man. I had to put it on the list. Deep Forest. Now, Deep Forest is kind of what the name says. It's a, you're going deep in the forest. Holy shit. Now, this is another one where the florals are just really pumping off that nozzle. But once you spray it, you're going to get the animatic tones of that forest, guys. Sorry for having it so up close. Now, well, what I would say is this one right here looks so perfect right here. If you can't find this one, guys, that's why I put them both here. I usually don't like to do that because they're not that they're similar. But what they do is they do the similar job, like where florals are pumping out of this oud fleur, right? Florals are just pumping out and the oud is. But this oud is really animalic. This oud fleur is super duper animalic. Where Deep Forest is animalic, but in a greener way. I don't think it has oud in it, guys. I would have to check. It ha this is a, it's also a deep composition, guys. Yo, when you look at the note breakdown on this sucker, it is no joke. But like I said, if you can't get this, and, and having both is not redundant, I would tell you get Deep Forest. If you like something where... You have a lot of flowers, but then there's this darkness to this cologne on both of these. And you can't go wrong. You know, Oud Fleur, you're going to pay a lot, guys. And for in Deep Forest, you're going to probably pay like 70 bucks. So, you know, I gave you a, a different option if you can't find that Oud Fleur. But these are 10 fragrances, guys, that are very, very bold. They make bold statements. Um, Let's get into... You know what? Performance and how sexy are they? This performs 10 plus hours. Is it sexy? Yes. In a dark, you know, animalic with a bunch of flowers. And that sounds weird, but it is sexy. But I'm not going to say it's sexy like Oud of Greatness sexy. Uh, Bentley, surprisingly, is a sexy fragrance, guys. Get, I get tons of compliments and it works. Kute, to me, uh, and you know, Bentley is at least an eight hour fragrance, guys. 
Now, Cool Tate, what I, what I love about this brand, we're getting more into this brand soon, guys, real soon. This is a powerhouse. This is like 15 hours. This is extreme. It's straight to parfum, guys, no joke. And this is very sexy to me. Very sexy, very alluring. To me, it, this is the best whiskey note in the game. Best whiskey note, hands down. Uh, Warwick from Kajal. It I wouldn't I wouldn't call this sexy. I would call this dangerous and man down. This is a very crazy smell, but I like it. It works for me. If you can sample it, sample it. Or if you like some crazy ish, this is for you. Now this one surprisingly, the bussy what I call. And that's the name from the House of Harari. Harari. There you go, guys. See? And I call this the bussy. This is actually sexy, guys. And this is really good at pulling in girls that love the smell of sex. This will work, guys. If a girl likes that type of smell, this is an alluring, sexy fragrance. It's crazy as all hell. Remember the name, the bussy, but it's great. Amber Kisco. Um... Is it sexy? I think it's alluring, but in a very dangerous way. It's not for everybody. Not every girl's going to like this or jump on your neck for it. But I think once you meet a girl and you already trapped her in with the great smelling colognes that get women, she will appreciate this on you. This is really good. Super potent, like extremely potent. Oh, yeah, guys, forgot to tell you. This is another potent bomb, at least 12 hours on skin. Could be more. This one, 15 hours on skin. It's ridiculous, this thing. This thing is straight out of a horror film, how crazy it is. But I love it. it smells great. What can I say? Um, Musk Ravageur is a sexy fragrance, guys. When it dries down, the gourmand part of this fragrance takes over, and you are rocking and rolling. Um, yes, it is dark, mysterious, mischievous to some extent, but fabulous fragrance, guys. Definitely a sexy fragrance and 10, 12 hours, no problem, guys. Great, great projection, sillage, works wonders. Now, Oud Fleur, to me, is a sexy, dirty fragrance, you know. Um, but a girl has to like that animalic side. If she does, you're in the money. And I like it. It's dangerous. It's provocative. It's, I would say it's like Madonna in the 80s. You don't know what's going to happen. So, Pentaholigans, Sohan. Uh, this is a sexy fragrance, guys. 10 hours on skin, clothes. You know, I would say you probably get 24 hours. Um, This is a sexy oud rose saffron fragrance, guys. But very, very, um, like... It has the smell of, of intimacy before. It's not like the bussy. This smells like you're getting it on. This is like the actions before getting it on. How you built that chemistry heat between you and that woman. This right here, that's what that does. This is a very alluring fragrance, guys. Don't sleep on this one. Velvet Amber. Listen. If the girl is dangerous... And if she likes this, because of this gasoline smell, you know she likes to do party favorites, if you get what I'm saying, you know? Party favorites, smoke a little sign something, party with a little sign something, because this gasoline note, you think you're doing something else. This thing is potent, strong. Look at the juice. This is not for every woman. This is for a dangerous woman. Again, bold fragrances. I think it's sexy. To a certain type of female, guys. This is something that I love it. It smells great, you know, but everybody's different. You would have to sample this, honest to God. You have to sample all of these, guys. Don't just buy this and run with it. Try to sample this. The two cheapest one are right here. 70 bucks, 35 bucks, 40 bucks. You know, but the rest I would say sample because they are super dangerous. They are potent. They are... <laughs> You know, they're, they're not everybody's, you know, I would say forte. So sample, 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 guys. Hope you like today's video. I hope you like the intro. LL Cool J, you know how we do. Family, like and subscribe. Man Cologne channel.
praise to the Most High, and we are out, family. Deuces.